Okay, they're setting up for Salvador Perez to do his swearing in to become an American citizen. And the Royals have only had two of these before, Cookie Rojas and Muriel Kaufman, the wife of Ewing Kaufman, the owner. She was from Toronto, Canada. I tell you, because of this job, I've gotten a chance to be a part of and witness some amazing things. I've never been a part of one of these before, so I'm just as excited as you are. Um, there is nothing that will change us feeling like Salvador is one of us, but today it's going to be official. And he will forever be a Kansas Cityan, and pretty soon he's going to be a United States citizen. And I hope this is I hope this is a reminder to all of us that, you know, that we might not always agree on everything in this city or in this country, but there are people that not only want to come here, but they want to be citizens of this country. And I hope we all leave today just remembering how blessed we are and we don't take that flag for granted. So let's let's get started. And I first want to uh, introduce to the stage Port Executive Paige Wymore Wynn. 2015 World Series MVP, Salvador Perez. <laughs> Royals General Manager, Dayton Moore. And the Director of U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, Michelle Perry. <laughs> All right. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. The United States District Court for the Western District of Missouri is now in session. The Honorable Beth Phillips presiding. God save the United States in this honorable court. Please be seated. Well, good afternoon and welcome. I'm Beth Phillips. I'm the Chief District Judge of the Western District of Missouri. And on behalf of all of the judges, we are very excited to have this special session of the Court of the Western District here. Um, obviously, this is a little unusual of a circumstance and an atmosphere for us. Um, if you've ever been to federal court, I can tell you this atmosphere is a lot more fun than what you actually get to see when you come to federal court. We're also excited because we often obviously have a very special guest that has brought us here today. One that will soon be our newest member or our newest citizen of the United States. And so we're very excited about that. know how difficult it is to become a naturalized citizen. Um, there's a lot of paperwork, there's a lot of waiting, and there's tests, tests that are very, very hard. There's a, a civics test that some surveys indicate that between 60 and 70 percent of native-born Americans couldn't pass. Um, it's got a hundred questions. Um, you don't know which of those hundred questions you're going to be asked. Um, and some of the questions are very hard. For example, uh, raise your hand if you know how many amendments there are to the Constitution. 27, for those of you who got it right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we'll give you a pass if you don't get this one right. This one's a tough one. What year was the Constitution written? Raise your hand if you know. Uh -huh. Well, if, if you think 1776, you're close, but it was really 1787. 
So we are very happy to be here to join Mr. Salvador Perez in the last stage um, of this long process, long and difficult process that he's gone through to actually take the oath of citizenship and become a citizen of the United States. But before that, we'd like to have a welcome please from Mr. Dayton Moore. Thank you, and, and we're so honored that each and every one of you uh, are here today where we can share in this special and historic moment in the life of our all-star catcher, Salvador Perez. <laughs> you know, we, we all recognize what he's done on the field. Five gold gloves, six all-star appearances, two silver slugger awards, two American League championships, World Series champion and World Series MVP. We recognize that, we celebrate that. But what we love and admire about Salvador Perez is who he is as a person, who he's become as a father and as a husband, and now soon to be a citizen of the United States of America. God bless you, thank you for being here and let's enjoy this wonderful occasion. Your Honor, if it may please the court, this afternoon I would like to present Salvador Johan Perez Diaz for United States citizenship. Mr. Perez, a citizen of Venezuela, has met all of the formal requirements imposed by law for United States citizenship. And at this time, the government moves that Mr. Perez be granted all of the rights, the privileges, and the responsibilities of United States citizenship. Your motion is granted, and I would ask that the clerk please administer the oath. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. <laughs> We're going to go nice and slow so everybody can hear. I do hereby declare. I do hereby declare. Upon oath. Upon oath. That I absolutely and entirely, that I absolutely entirely renounce and abjure, renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity, all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince, to any foreign prince, potentate, potentate, state or sovereignty, state or sovereignty of whom or which, of whom or which I have heretofore been, I have heretofore been. A subject or citizen. Subject or citizen. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution and the laws. The Constitution and the laws. Of the United States of America. The United States of America. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith. And allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. That I will bear arms. That I will bear arms. On behalf of the United States. On behalf of the United States. When required by law. When required by law. That I will perform. That I will perform. Non-combatant service. Non-combatant service. In the armed forces of the United States. In the armed forces of the United States. When required by law. When required by law. That I will perform work. That I will perform work. Of national importance. Of national importance. Under civilian direction. Under civilian direction. When required by law. When required by law. And that I take. And that I take. This obligation freely. That I, that I obligation freely. Without mental reservation. Without mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. So help me God. So help me God.
seated. And I have to tell you, it was the kids on the front row that started the Salvi Salvi uh, chant, so that's very impressive. Well, um, uh, Senator Perez, I am extremely honored to be the first to congratulate you on being a citizen of the United States. You represent the potential of the American dream, and you represent the legions of immigrants who really make the history of this country what it is, and make the United States what it is, which is the greatest country in the United States, or excuse me, in the nation. So, congratulations. And now if you could please stand again and